Another sound game you can play at home involves using your homemade sandpaper letters. So I think I have enough room to maybe fit three here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now, for this sound game, the children will have already needed to be introduced to the sandpaper letter, so they're familiar with the symbol for the sound. And they've also been introduced to the objects through I Spy and other sound games. So neither of these objects or the letters themselves are, are unfamiliar. Now they're just bringing them together. And so I would ask a child, again, starting with beginning sounds, can you help me find the object in the basket that begins with s? I'd have them hunt through and they'd find the sloth, put it on the letter. Can you help me find the object in the basket that begins with a? Again, having them look through alligator. Can you help me find the object in the basket that begins with this sandpaper letter? Let's see if they can recognize it. It's a fun way of kind of shifting the game around. Mmm. Mammoth. So after doing the beginning sounds and your child is comfortable with the beginning sounds, you can work in end sounds and middle sounds. Just be aware of what objects you have available so that you're not asking the impossible for, from your child. Um, you can also use objects around your home. Um, for, for some children, it might be easier to have a basket again with a bunch of objects already put in place for them to sort through. Um, some older children might enjoy hunting through the house for different things that they could find that match the different letter sounds. Thanks again for joining my lesson.